All right, good morning, friends. It is time for another morning meeting. Today is Thursday. All right, go ahead and go to the calendar link and be sure to do your calendar homework. All right, so usually Friday is our last day of school, but today, Thursday, is our last day of school because tomorrow is a holiday. It's Good Friday. So we are going to be saying goodbye to our letter and to our Bible stories and those types of things. All right, are you guys ready to be our weather watchers? What's the weather like today? Like today, like today. What's the weather like today? Today is, what is it? Okay. All right, be sure to get out your new calendar that you keep track of the weather on. It's a piece of paper and you get to cut out what you see. So if you see clouds outside, you can cut out the clouds and glue it to your paper on the right day. All right. What's our theme this week? Jesus is alive. Good job. And why are we talking about Jesus is alive? Is there a holiday that's coming up really soon? Yeah, Easter. Good job. Alright, so we have our very last three eggs to talk about today. Are you ready? This will be egg number 10. So look for the egg that has the number 10 on it. 10 is a 1 and a 0. Look for the number 10. Alright, shake it around. I don't really hear very much. Do you think what's in here is heavy or light? I think it's pretty light. What do you think? Good. Alright, let's open it up. What is it? It is a piece of cloth. Who do you think that the piece of cloth could be for? Okay, let's find out if you were right. When it was evening, there came a rich man named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus, because this is after Jesus had already died. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him, and Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut into the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. This was a brave and loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe that he was the Son of God. But Joseph did believe, and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. Joseph knew that this might get him in trouble with the soldiers, but he was brave and asked for permission anyways. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock like a shallow cave. Joseph then went away sad because Jesus was dead and he wondered what would happen next. Hmm. Joseph was a good friend. He took care of Jesus and he continued to be faithful to Jesus even after Jesus had been killed by the soldiers. So when Joseph put him in the tomb, it said that he put a big heavy stone in front of the tomb because the tombs were like little tiny caves back then. And that is a hint at what is inside our next egg. So now I'll find the next egg. It'll have the number 11 on it. 11 is a one and another one. Eleven. All right, let's shake it. Ooh, that's kind of loud. What do you think is inside this? It feels kind of, do you think it's light or heavy? It's heavier than the cloth that we just opened for sure. Are you ready to see what's inside? What do you have inside? I have a rock. What do you 
do you think this rock is supposed to remind us of? Good, let's see if you're right. It's the stone that was pushed in front of Jesus' tomb. And here's the story that goes along with it. The stone was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb, and it was much bigger than the stone in the egg. It was as big as a door, and it probably weighed more than a car. After Jesus was buried, special soldiers were assigned to stand guard at the tomb, but these men were no match for God's angel. It took just one angel to roll the stone away. The guards were so afraid that they fainted. Where did the angel get his strength? From God. Wow, that is so cool. So even though the soldier so we're standing guard to make sure that nobody would do anything with this tomb, with the stone in front of the tomb. The angel was able to roll it away. Wow. Alright, last egg. Are you ready? This one is the number 12. 12 is a 1 and a 2. Find the egg that has the number 12. All right, shake it. You think you can tell what's inside? Hmm, wait a minute. I don't hear anything. What do you hear? Hmm, that's mysterious. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> it's empty. Is yours empty? Why is it empty? What do you think? Hmm. Let's read and find out. When two women came to the tomb of Jesus, they were surprised too. The heavy stone had been rolled aside and the tomb was empty. Jesus' body was not there. Where, where was he? Where did he go? The angel told them, he has risen. Jesus had come back to life. This was the promise that Jesus made to his disciples at their special dinner just a few days before. That he would die, but he would come back to life to show that those who believed in him, that they would live forever too. Someday, because he died for us, we can meet Jesus in heaven and thank him. That's the story of Easter, and it's true. Wow. So Jesus died, and he paid the punishment for our sins. He died the death that we deserved because we all have sinned, and Jesus never, ever sinned. He lived a perfect life, but he died for us in our place so that we could have a relationship with him, and so that when we die, we can go to heaven and spend eternal life with him. That is the story of Easter. Wow so cool. Let's thank Jesus for what he did for us. All right, let's uh, see your praying hands and bow your head and close your eyes. Jesus, thank you for the gift of Easter. Thank you that you died for us and thank you that you rose again. You died in our place so that we could live eternal life with you. Jesus, thank you. We praise you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, it was such, such a special theme of Easter because it is amazing what Jesus did for us and the life that he lived while he was on earth. All right, we are saying goodbye to Easter. This is our last day to talk about it uh, for school, but the Easter holiday hasn't happened yet, so you will still get to celebrate Easter with your family this weekend. And are we going to forget about Easter? No way. It is very important, so we are not going to forget about Easter. Also, if you haven't watched these videos yet, you can go to our YouTube page, and there will be a playlist, and you can watch all of these videos, and they're also linked in your parents' email that you do your calendar homework from, too. Alright, now it's time for... What letter? Letter Y. 
you might be able to hear my dog snoring. Isn't that silly? My dog is here and she's snoring very loudly. Alright, why? What is his letter land name? Yellow Yo-Yo Man. Wow. Yellow Yo-Yo Man. What do yellow and yo-yo start with? Letter Y. Good job. And what sound does letter Y make? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me hear you try it. Good job. That is letter Y. Remember, you can watch our video about letter Y on YouTube. You can follow the link in your email. We have two videos about letter Y that you can watch if you haven't already. I am going to think of something that starts with the letter Y, and I want to see if you can guess it. All right, the word I am thinking of that starts with the letter Y is, it is a color, and you see this color a lot when it's springtime and summertime. This color can be the color of flowers like dandelions and daffodils. Do you already know what color it is? Let's see if you can guess it now before I give you one more hint. Alright, my last hint is that this color is the same color as the sun. What color am I thinking of that starts with Y? You guessed it. Yellow. Yeah, 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 yellow. Good job. All right. This is our last day to talk about letter Y. So are we going to forget about yellow yo-yo man? No, we're going to remember Yellow Yo-Yo Man because he is an important letter. All right, last thing before we say goodbye is we are going to sing the letter song. Remember, if you haven't memorized, you can send us a video on Homeroom and you will get a warm fuzzy. Let's give a yell for Y. Let's give a yell for Y. Y is for you, a yellow too. Let's give a yell for Y. Let's give a yell for Y. Y is for you, a yellow too. Alright, good job. Alright, fruit of the spirit. What is our fruit of the spirit? Gentleness. Good job gentleness. Remember, you can watch our Fruit of the Spirit video on YouTube. It's in our playlist. It's the same video that we would watch in our classroom. And our verse is a gentle answer. Repeat after me. A gentle answer turns away anger, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Let's try it again. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Good job. That is Proverbs 15, 1. All right, that's all for our morning meeting today, friends. Uh, have a good long weekend. And I am excited to talk to you guys soon. Bye.